Hey everyone, my name is Wilson Schultz um, and I'm a product manager with Eggvisor Pro. Uh, I've been working with Bob Recker to set up uh, your wide row community within Eggvisor Pro. And so today I'm just gonna give uh, kind of a pre-recorded demo here of the app um, and also of the community, hopefully answer some questions and then also make myself available to answer questions through the app at any time. I'm your person to reach out to if you have issues, concerns, questions. Um, and yeah, so I'm based out of Calgary in Canada, uh, in Alberta. And uh, basically, uh, I grew up in the egg industry. I was a custom applicator for uh, a lot of years before I started working um, with Eggvisor Pro. Uh, and now I'm more on the tech side of things. So um, again, please reach out to me if you have questions, comments, and concerns uh, about the app. Uh, without further ado, I'm going to get right into it. And I'm going to be sharing my phone screen here today uh, so you can all see uh, what's what's going on here. So I will resume the share and you should all be able to see my phone screen. So um, again, this is within the Eggvisor Pro app. And this is what you're going to see when you open up the app. And so Eggvisor Pro, uh, the, the main vision behind the app is that we're trying to connect farmers uh, and people in the ag industry with tough problems to other producers, independent experts and companies who have advice and solutions for those problems so that you can move forward with confidence. We're all about connecting professionals within the agricultural community. And so as you go through the home screen here, you can see some of the suggested communities up top. This is the first most important thing. This is where your community is. And so you'll all be able to find your community within the view all communities. It's just here. And I'll go out and touch on this later. So the community section, it's just on the dashboard here as you see in the bottom left, and then up to the view all communities. Um, but the communities is kind of a, a, you know, it's within Agvisor Pro. The main Agvisor Pro app is what you see here. Uh, you can see some of your trending questions, suggested services, top experts, and companies. And so I'm going to just give you a quick tour of Agvisor Pro. It'll help explain better how the community integrates uh, within it. So first off, you saw how to find your community. Now I want to show you um, the core functionality of Eggvisor Pro, which is a feature called Ask the Network. Um, this is where you can type out a question and ask professionals for advice. Here's an example of a question. Now, it's going to ask you which categories you want to associate that question with. So let's say it was a sprayer question. You know, I might put in crop protection and I might put in sprayers here. And then I continue on. So behind these categories, there's many people who are interested in these um, in, the, in these topics, and they're going to be receiving this question. I can add visuals, of course. It's always better to add um, a photo to your question. Um, but I'm going to skip through this for, through, for now. I can also add in my location, so Calgary, Alberta. And as I continue on, now this question's ready to go out and send. And I'm not going to send it now, but uh, this question would go to all the professionals who are interested in those categories. And so that's how you ask a question in Agvisor Pro. It's not how you ask in the community, but it's how you ask in the main Agvisor Pro. And now here's the questions tab in Agvisor Pro. And so this is where, again, your questions are coming in. So because I've said, I'm interested in all these things, I'm going to get questions for all these things. For you all, please just make sure that wide row corn is selected. That will ensure that you get questions from the community. Um, but you can also feel free to go in and add these other areas of interest if you'd like to see what other people outside of your community are talking about. So as I go through the questions and answers in this questions tab here, I can dismiss questions by swiping to the left or hitting the X button. And I can answer questions by swiping to the right or hitting the answer button. I can add my response here. Um, and send that off. And that makes myself and my profile available to everyone who is following this question or has maybe asked the question. And now they can see my response, as you've probably seen within the community. Now, maybe I can't answer it right now, or maybe I'm interested in it, but I don't have an answer. I can always follow the question. This moves the question to uh, my follow tab in the answers section, where now I can see that, hey, I'm following this question and I can see what other people are saying and answer later if I would like. So that's the quick tour of the main Agvisor Pro. But now I wanna get into the community. So again, as long as you have wide row corn selected, you're all good. The questions are gonna be coming out here. Now let's go to the wide row corn community for a second though and take a look. So there's three sections in the community. You've got your post sections, your question and answers, and your about. 
So we'll start with about and move backwards. The about section is basically shows the community goals, the rules of engagement, and it has a directory of all the members of the community. So let's say, I don't know who's in here. Go ahead and look here. I can check out Ben. Okay, Ben filled in his profile here in his profile picture. That's great. Jason, I can see a little bio here and I can see some of the answers that Jason's been giving uh, in the network. Um, maybe Jeff, Jeff hasn't filled out his profile yet. So uh, if, if you're like Jeff or Jeff, <laughs> you can go and fill out your profile by going back to the main advisor pro page, going to your profile and filling in the details there. That just helps everybody know who you are and what you can contribute. Now we'll go to questions and answers. So Questions and answers is all about asking anonymous questions. So if I want to ask the community a question, I have to go to my community and click ask the community. This takes you through a similar ask the network flow. Um, and it's going to ask you for your question and any photos and your location. And then that's going to send that to everybody in the community. Everybody can chime in and ask and answer questions. So let's go through an example um, here, maybe the same one I was looking at earlier. This question came in anonymously from one of the community members, and I can see here that we've got some responses. So let's say I really liked Reese's response or Brian's response. I could chat further with them on this topic. And if I actually wanted to contact them or see their profile, I could go even further and have a one-on-one -on -one chat conversation. I could even do a video call here in the app. And so, you know, the questions is the first way to start getting feedback. Uh, from the community. But if you're wanting to go deeper into a deeper conversation, you just click chat um, or go to their profile and, and chat with them about this question. So that's the questions and answers. And I'll just find my way back to the community here. Um, as far as the posts go, the posts are for things that you maybe want to share with the community as a resource. So they're not for questions. It's for things like what Bob's doing here. You know, he's telling everyone that there's a community meeting coming up um, and that we're going to be doing this over Zoom. Uh, if you go down here again, you can see some of the things that Bob's been posting. Everyone in the community can post. So if you have an article, a link, something that you learned, something that you want to share with everyone, feel free to post in this section. And, and that's the area to do it. Now, one thing you're all probably wondering about is the notifications. How do I make sure that I'm not missing anything from this community? And so the way you want to make sure your notifications are on is when you came in AgVisor Pro, it would have asked you. But if you're not sure, just head to your settings on your phone and you go down until you find your app section, you find AgVisor Pro, and then you just make sure under the notification section that the notifications is on and allowed. And so that's going to make sure that you're getting the questions that come to the community. Again, you're going to be getting them in this questions tab. And if you want to see the posts and other things that are going on, you just have to go into the communities and click on uh, the community here. So we're really hoping that this can foster some great engagement uh, between the community members, both in the questions and answers and the posts. Again, everybody can post, everyone can ask, and everyone can answer. So it's very open right now. If you haven't yet, feel free to fill in your profile. It helps everybody uh, know who you are and, and your experience in the industry. And it's great for, for connecting one-on-one uh, -on -one later on. And so that's uh, the extent of the, of the demo I wanted to give today. Now, you might have some questions, additional comments or concerns. Uh, I would invite you to get a hold of me via AgVisor Pro by searching my name in the search bar. So if you type in Wilson, you're going to find myself here. You can see that I'm a product manager at AgVisor Pro, and you can just click the chat button to get a hold of me. Um, and I would love to hear your feedback. I'd love to hear uh, your comments and concerns. Uh, the community's feature is brand new in AgVisor Pro, and so we're working very hard um, with the with the early members to make sure that we're building the right things for it so that this can be very successful for all of you. So um, thank you very much. I'll leave you to the rest of your meeting and I hope to meet you all in person someday.